Welcome. We are going to do a little EFT tapping around allowing change in relationships. Change is something that we often want so much, but are incredibly eager to sabotage. Let's change that. Whether you are making changes in your point of attraction, who you are attracting and dating and who you're attracted to, or you're wanting to shift some dynamics within an existing relationship, let's tap around it. So follow along with me, repeat what I say, tap where I tap, and trust the process. This is the karate chop point, tapping here. I want to create changes in how I relate to other people. <sighs> but I'm finding that difficult to do. And I unconditionally love, honor, and accept myself. Mailman's here. <laughs> I want to experience something different in my relationships, but I'm not totally sure how to do that. And when I try, I find that I'm afraid of what the outcome might be. Tap on the top of your head. I find myself imagining the worst case scenario. If I set this boundary, if I establish this standard, what if the other person blows up on me? Above the eyebrow. What if it ends the relationship? What if it confirms my worst fears about who I am, what's possible for me in relationships, and how people perceive me on the temple? And so it feels safer to just keep doing the same thing, to keep showing up in the same way under the eye. To not disrupt the status quo. Deep breaths. So instead of making the changes myself and my own behavior and my own communication under the nose, I simply put all that energy towards complaining about <laughs> and feeling victimized by my relational circumstances under the chin or on the chin. And I unconditionally love, honor, and accept myself anyway. I'm noticing that I'm not exactly conserving energy here under the collarbone. I'm not exactly even avoiding discomfort in my relationships. Under the arm. In fact, I'm actually ensuring discomfort in a controlled way that I'm familiar with. Let your nervous system calm on top of the head. I'm actually putting in a lot of energy 
to complaining, to feeling victimized. And I'm receiving some energy back in terms of getting to feel right, getting to feel affirmed. See, look, it happened again. The thing I said was going to happen. And this affirms the stories I tell myself about relationships. But what if there was another story that was possible? What if there were other possibilities here under the eye? <sighs> Breathing. What if I could actually receive a lot of energy back in the way of forward momentum, in the way of fresh dynamics, interacting with people and seeing them interact with and respond to me in new, better ways. That might be uncomfortable because it's an unfamiliar territory, but Hey, I'm already fucking uncomfortable. <laughs> so might as well try something different. And I unconditionally love, honor, and accept myself no matter what. No matter how this other person responds. I'm going to I'm going to change my own behavior. I'm going to establish a new dance, a new social choreography. And I'm going to let people who don't want to do this new, healthier dance with me filter themselves out. I'm going to trust in what's meant to be. Because I would rather know sooner rather than later. I want to be wise in how and where I'm directing my energy and attention. And so I'm going to give myself the opportunity to accurately receive the feedback from others. I'm going to give myself and other people the opportunity to relate to me in ways that I want to relate by modeling that for them. Because if I don't even show up modeling those behaviors that I want to receive from others, I'm not even giving this other person the opportunity to be that for me. So I'm going to give other people the opportunity. I'm going to trust their agency and allow them to respond how they're going to respond. My eyes are tearing up. And I unconditionally love, honor, and accept myself. I'm excited to show up for myself show up for others, and show up for the kinds of relationships I actually want to be in. I am making these changes now. I am clearing any resistance all the way through my past. I am clearing the resistance on a cellular level. And my system is officially upgraded now. And I unconditionally love, honor, and accept myself. Whew. Take a deep breath. Oh. Unsure if that was my sunscreen getting in my eye or if that was kind of an emotional release. <laughs> Either way, do you feel a little bit of that elevated energy? Hell yeah. Come back to this daily, 
and see what happens. Let me know in the comments.